So with this, once we've kind of found them pretty well, just right here, I'm going to let you rotate as you need. So if you really need to, you can pinch right here. And you can tilt that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll just leave this okay. loose so you guys can rotate. And you don't have to race with any cards, I'm sorry. But don't anybody else start. And is there side A. So if your paper's on side well, B, I mean, flip it can over. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I just sometimes she holds stuff up, and maybe we can try to zoom in on it's that. Or she might have a picture, we can zoom in on that picture. Yeah. Ultimately, okay. they're, they're getting in order for the two buyers in the Northwest. So we're looking at all these, like, real deal cameras. Yeah, okay. Anywhere in the school, tirelessly, for this kind of stuff. Right awesome. now, this is our new solution. Yeah, it works. So, I like yeah, it. Perfect. Okay. So is that all set up and ready to go? Oh, just, just, just in case. Okay, so we're ready. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Hi. So my name is Noelle Wilson. I'm the intervention counselor. And today we have a presenter from Tarrant County Challenge. Her name is Carolyn Johnson Harris, and she's going to be showing you a little bit about um, different drugs and their effects and how they can affect your body and things like that. But some of the stuff's pretty cool and kind of gross. So, um, okay, so I'm going to just switch it over to her. Thank you. Okay, so she already gave you my name. How many remember? And a blank stare went across the room. Thank you. It is Carolyn. Anybody remember the rest of it? Oh my God! Bring it together and it's all together. It is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all day. All right. So I am from Challenge of Tarrant County. Do not start on your paper. There is a reason. I am here from from Challenge of Tarrant County. Today we're going to talk about tobacco cessation. My job today is to gross you out. Any of you got weak stomachs? This what the teacher raised her hand. Struggle bus. So. Typically, I do a pretty good job of grossing people out. There are going to be a few of you that will not get grossed out. That's fine. Great. I messed up. I'll take that L. All right. So on your paper in front of you, I want you to do side A. At the very top, it's going to have demographics. Fill out the demographics, meaning all of that information. I do not, do not, I repeat, want your name. Date of birth, driver's license number, social security number, any of that information, I don't need. So if you'll go ahead and start on that, when I know you're done is if you flip your paper over. No, true or false, no. Do we have any more papers? Do we have any more? Yes, I think I have a couple of people that don't have it. You guys done? You may or may not know the answers to these questions. That's fine. Do we guess? Yes. Please guess. That's why your name's not on it. You can't get a grade. Easiest test you've ever taken. <laughs> I don't think I brought any pencils. I normally do. Oh, I have one. I have a pen. I have a pen if that's okay. Yeah. How many of you guys are almost done or done? Okay. A couple more minutes and we're going to flip because I have to be at a time crunch. You got it still left? All right, so everybody flip over to side B, and I'm going to actually give you the answers. So are you ready? We're going to work on it together. So number one, how many different, how many chemicals are present in a single puff of tobacco? 
Any, don't everybody speak at the same time. 1,000. C. 1,000. Anyone else? 500. There is actually 7,000 chemicals known. Please understand when they say the word known, that means that right now, today, that's all we know is 7,000. Tomorrow we might find 7,001. So that's, the, that's number D. Answer D. The answer is D for number one. Number two, the first offense penalty for a minor in possession of tobacco charge can include A or B. I think it's B. Somebody said A or B? A, a and B? I said it's actually E, all of the above. So possession means anything tobacco related. That means lighter, cigarette pack, jewel, any of those things. You will get a possession ticket. Now, if you have other stuff in your pocket, like wacky weed, and I'm not talking about anybody in here, of course, you will get more charges. Three, which, to which tobacco type is known to cause a, an increase in oral cancer or both are too small? Chewing tobacco. Absolutely. Absolutely. Four, the addictive drug in tobacco is? Nicotine. Correct. Nicotine is addictive, and it is considered a drug. It, unfortunately, it's legal, but it is a drug. Very addictive. Five, around blank people die every year in the U.S. because of tobacco. 15,000. D, 480,000. There are 200,000 that die in Texas alone. Whoa, I know, big numbers, yes. Six, which lung ailment is almost always caused by smoking? Lung cancer. Absolutely, lung cancer. Seven. Which statement about nicotine is false? B. No, 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 B. B. Smok smokers experience little or no nicotine when they quit. Lies. Not the truth. You do experience withdrawal. Eight. Which of these ac activities is the healthiest to do instead of smoking? C. Exercise. C is the correct answer, but in my world, shopping is more. But okay, we won't talk about my issues. All right. Nine. Second most widely used drug in the world is? Marijuana. Yeah. B, tobacco. What's number one? Marijuana. Oh. <laughs> All right. Ten. Failure to attend a mandatory tobacco education class after being cited with a ticket from MIP, which stands for minor in possession, can result in which of the following? All of the above. And if you do not take care of that ticket, what do you think happens? You don't get a warrant, but how many of you guys drive? You won't anymore. Your license will get suspended. If your license gets suspended, you incur surcharges, which can run up to $2,000. So, all right. So, once again, I talked about I wanted to talk about some stuff in my suitcase. So, we talked about the chemicals that are found in tobacco. I'm about, I brought some. Now, I didn't bring 7,000 chemicals because I'd be still walking back and forth to my car. But I do have a few in my, my little container here. One of them is insecticide, AKA bug killer. Fun times. I'll put these over here. How about disinfected? Hand sanitizer, you know, stuff that cleans germs. Yeah, you're smoking it. <laughs> um, ladies, how many of you use nail polish? Nail polish remover, acetone. So these are my little cute little bottles here. How about toilet cleaner? Yes, right up to the lips and in you go. Rat poison. Yeah, I thought so too. So guys, whenever I go do a presentation, everybody wants my car. But did you know that parts of parts of how you make the car is actually part of a cigarette? Our cigarette product. Mothballs. You guys are probably too young to know what mothballs are. You've heard of them? Your grandmother? I saw my friend's edition. Yeah, and they eat the... Yeah, so, <laughs> some poor person ate them. That's not what they're for. They are actually for mothballs. And if you have a grandmother, and don't anybody make a comment about people being old, because I am, you put them in your house, 
And I'm from up north, so we got rid of snakes. So they have those in cigarettes. How about tar? Where else do we find tar? Streets. Streets and your roof. If you have a house, that's how your shingles are put on your roof. Batteries. Come on, it says file in the battery. What's the fluid that's in a lighter? <laughs> okay, so it really and truly is not a trick question. Why? Because when I go to the elementary schools, do you know what they tell me is in the lighter? Gasoline. Exactly. Gasoline. That's the first thing they say. Oh, you put gasoline in it. I said, that would be the la first and last cigarette that you ever have. <laughs> gasoline in your lighter. Butane, lighter fluid. That's also in cigarettes. How about this? How many of you guys have biology? What is it that you use to preserve dead bodies? I have no idea. Come on. What is that? What's it's a lizard. This is Louie, my friend, the lizard. He's dead. Yes, he's dead. <laughs> you would bring a live lizard if you could let it loose. You guys would run out of here. Okay. What's used to what's used to embalm dead bodies? Embalming fluid, aka formaldehyde. Embalming fluid. <laughs> Components that are found in gasoline. Some of it. Yes. And finally, the last thing you would think that would be in a cigarette product, tobacco. Go figure. So, what do you think some of the side effects are from smoking? Including juuling and all that other stuff. Lung cancer, yes. Any other side effects? Addiction? Yes. Any other side effects? All right. Well, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Don't get excited. Yes. <laughs> I keep all my friends in bags at home. You never know. So this is Harry. Harry's got a few things going on with him. He's got a couple problems. One of Harry's biggest problems is he has hair on his tongue. So touch your hair. Now touch your tongue. That's what would be on your tongue. Delicious. So it's actually hair. So what I want you to do is, is I want you to imagine if your tongue was dried out, and this is what this feels like. So touch it. So if your tongue dried out completely, it would feel kind of rubbery. I love the faces. It makes my day. This gives me so much life. So I'm going to give this to one of the teachers and let them pass it to the back. Kind of feel like that, yes. So if there is a mannequin that always has pictures, always. That's a real person with real hair. <laughs> Imagine having a braid that in the morning. Yeah. You drug the bus. <laughs> 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 yes, it's actually a form of cancer. Yes, it is a form of cancer. And it actually happens. So, guys, here's the question Is this an old person or a young person? Yes. Ah, I did that on purpose. Because most young people say, That's all people do. Eyes. Hair on your tongue. Actual hairy tongue. <laughs> so if there's one hairy tongue, there's always more. Okay, so the next question I have for you guys, do y'all know what dip is? Yes. How many of you have ever tried it? <laughs> Alright, so let me say this right quick. Let me say this. This is Vegas. Y'all know what Vegas means? Whatever happens in here stays in here. Whatever's said in here stays in here. So we're not going to run and go, ah, guess what I heard? No. So if you admit to a smoking, dipping, all that other stuff, I'm just here to give information. So this is my can of tobacco. 
or dip, or chewing, or smokeless. Supposedly, people were told smokeless tobacco was better. True or false? False. false. Correct. So, I have my can called Dip and Decay. I do. So, every one of us was given a set of teeth, yeah? Some of us have more or less teeth, depending on how, where you are. But, they're supposed to look like this. What happens when you use dip because it's directly in your gum line is your teeth go from this to this. This person has a piece of has cancer on their tongue. You go from this to yuck mouth. He had a tooth there at one time. He lost it. So, obviously, if I brought that, so this is my can of snuff, it's wasted all over my car. Can you imagine getting stopped by the police with all this fun stuff in my car? Yeah. So, I have pictures, obviously. So this is before he was, I think he was, oh, no, he was treated. He was treated. This is when that was treated. Oh. <laughs> he was treated? He was treated. But it looks like it came back. <laughs> and then this one. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The young kid said it looked like a link sauce. Why is a burnt link sausage? I'm not the one. Burnt link sausage. Yeah, burnt hot dog, burnt link sausage. So, guys, what happens though is that you have to have surgery and have that removed. It looks like this. So, as you can see, he's having part of his face removed. So that was him. <laughs> okay. So after he gets well, he looks like this. But he can't eat because he lost part of his tongue in the process. So, <laughs> I want to tell you a story. And these commercials, I hope you guys saw these today. This guy. Y'all remember seeing him? No. no. Y'all didn't look at the, the commercials? When did they have them this morning? We do a different one every day. Oh, y'all doing a different one. Oh, well, good. Okay. So, this guy, he started chewing at the age of 13. He developed cancer at the age of 17. Take your hand like this. I put it right here. He lost all of that. All of it. He lost all of that. And they take part of your other parts of your body and reconstruct it. But he has no jaw and he has a third of a tongue. He died at the age of 33. A third. It's not even a tongue. It's not. I want you guys to pay attention this week when his commercial is going to come on and he's going to talk about it. So what he did was is he went out on he went out on tour to tell people about it. Do you see where his face has changed? He was younger, he was 33. 
So to let you know that that's really young, I know you guys are still in your teens. I'm 54. Your teachers are probably in their 30s or younger. Oh, it's just me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. You look about 20. Okay. So he went around. He went around and talked about not to do this. But he ended up dying, ultimately. So. You guys know what these are? This? So this is a jewel. How many of you guys either know what it is, or you've tried it, or you know somebody who has one? Let's be honest. Come on. Okay. So. Y'all listen. The statistics are, if you take 10 kids, 9 out of the 10 have either tried it or they know someone who has tried it. So, y'all tell me some of the flavors you've used. Really? Mango. See my face? Really? I know better. <laughs> Tropical Island? I can't. You haven't tried it. You have friends who tried it? What flavors have they used? Mint, mint mango. Uh, mango. Somebody told me there's one out called unicorn. What? Unicorn. There's a flavor out called unicorn. So let's talk about that for a second. Question: Do you believe they're safe? No. No. Yet we still do it. Struggle bus. So, do you guys know that they're more addictive than cigarettes? Because the average person that uses it hits it several, several, several times a day. How many cigarettes do you think is in one jewel pot? 20. 20. A, whole 50, a whole pack. A whole pack. How much juice do you use in those little jewel pots? Do you think you use the whole thing or some of it in a day? Oh, and a lot. Wait, what? How much do you like that pot? Okay, so we're not going to get y'all to answer this. Okay, so it you develop something called popcorn. Have y'all heard of that? So tell me, what is it? Part of it, yes. No, go ahead. You go to the hospital, my lung collapses, I think I got popcorn lung. No. You're almost dead if your lung collapses. Problem. No, popcorn lung is where when you inhale that steam, it creates pockets in your lung. And in those pockets, you have mucus. Y'all know what mucus is, yes? Yes. Snot, boogers. Green stuff, loogies, whatever you want to call it. This stuff. In my own personal jar of phlegm. This stuff. It does not go away. It's the Is that actual? I'm not, I'm not asking you about your personal stuff. Don't ask that about mine. I feel offended. I have my own personal I said I came out here to, to make you grow. Am I doing a good job? Yes. Okay, so this is in your lungs. Do you guys know what's pneumonia? Oh, my good. <laughs> you win. Tell her what she's won, Bob. Yes. 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 No. What kind of sickness? It is in your lungs. Do you know what actually happens when you get pneumonia? No. You do cough, but your lungs fill up with this. Exactly. And you can drown. You can actually die from having pneumonia. Because your body internally, you're drowning. Wait. Same premise. Same premise. Your body fills up with this fluid and it does not go away. The more you do, the more you have. So you have people who have the ugly vape cough. Here's a here's a um, a trivial question. How many of you guys know what the dab is? The dance. The dance. Some of y'all know what the dab dab is, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> So, are you talking about what we smoke or what we <laughs> Yes, let's stay focused. So, the dab dance. How many of you know what the dab dance is? How many of you know where it came from? The German Apparently, it's like, uh, it's like when you call. Is it like a call? Every time you do a dab, you don't like that. So, some rapper was high as and he was hitting it hard. He took one hit, got that nasty vape cough, but he was a conscientious. Vape coffer. He coughed into his arm. He's like, dude. <laughs> so every time you
y'all hit the dab, you're making O2 dab wax. Yes? Yes. Oh, hold on. So, so real quick, let's talk about uh, first hand, second hand, and third hand smoke. What's first hand smoke? What's second hand smoke? Third hand smoke. It's on their clothes. Is that what they tell them? Their clothes. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, hot boxing. Anybody ever try it? He goes, no. <laughs> yes. I know not of what you speak. Hot boxing. So when you're in a car with a group of your friends and somebody pulls out something and says, and they go, hit that for hit you. And there's the smoke is all in the car. Well, third hand smoke is all of the smoke that lands on the surfaces. So the next time you're in the car with your friends, take your hand and go across the windshield. And what do you think will be on your hands? The residue. So because we are porous and we touch things, that's how we get third-hand smoke. So how many of you know friend, people who smoke or you got relatives that smoke? You go to their house, when you leave, what do you smell like? Smoke. Absolutely. You smell like this. You smell, some of y'all like, I smell like that now. Don't come too close. She's like, I don't smell anything. <laughs> see the hole where his teeth used to be. So, Case of road rage. 
And so on the way here, somebody kept cutting me off, and I just had enough. So he doesn't have a set of lungs anymore. Anyway, <laughs> this is a human lung. It's, it's supposed to go on a machine, and you blow it up, but I didn't. But I <laughs> the look on your face is like, oh, Hicks, no. <laughs> You can take it. So your lungs are supposed to be this pink. If you <laughs> it doesn't bite, I promise. smell pretty bad. So these, if I stick them on the machine, that's what this is for. And so I stick it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put it back in the bag. Okay. So if you stick it on the machine and I have a thing that pumps it up, it blows up real big. But I sprung a leak in my lungs and so I don't bring it with me anymore. But it has a tumor right here. I have gloves if you want to touch it. <laughs> she said, like, never mind. So this has a tumor, but do you see how black it is? Why is it black? From the chemicals, from all the chemicals. Yes. And the, guys, if you are using vape, please, our jewels, please know that there are quite a few chemicals in there. One of the ones that we're saying was metals. There's metals in there. And those metals are, you're ingesting those metals. And your lungs could look like these. So, this actually has a tumor. So, if you touch right here, you feel how hard that is? So, these guys are heavy. So, imagine if you are a sports player. How many of you guys play sports in here? You smoke, you use any kind of things like this, your lungs become very, very heavy, and you can't get enough air in them. And you have a hard time doing your sports or activities because of the chemicals or things that's in your lungs. Yeah, it's supposed to be, your room is supposed to be like, it's 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 supposed
If you're someone that smokes weed and you use Rillo, how many of y'all know what Rillo is like? Don't play me. Okay, I was like, don't play me, I know. Whatever you wrap your weed in. So if you use those, they put more sugars in them. That's why when you go to the stores, right in front of the cash register, you have the Alf, and they have grapes, strawberry, pina colada, all of those. Those aren't for older people. That's for you guys. Because the more sugar they put in it, the more likely you'll buy it. And for every one smoker they get rid of, they get you guys. That's the market now. That's what they advertise to it. So, that's my speech. Any questions? Ma'am. Did I gross you out? Yeah. Was that something I said? No. Yes. All right. If you guys will pass the papers down, I'll pick those up. Thank you so much for your time today. Okay.